rancheros. This is like the mother of Mexican breakfast. Now this dates back to when workers were working on the farm and they come in midday and they have themselves a big hearty meal. There's all different variations to how you can make this. But today I'm just gonna make okay, one. So I have some corn tortillas and I'm just gonna lightly spray them with some nonstick cooking spray. This one's canola, but you could do olive oil. There's all different varieties. I'm gonna put them on my pan and then I'm gonna get it in the oven. So I've been receiving all sorts of fun comments from people. And it's so funny, especially on my YouTube channel, how people will like literally get in arguments over things I make. Because one person's trying to defend me and another person is putting me down. But I thought it was so funny. This guy the other day, he wrote how he he couldn't believe I was this white chick cooking food. And then he's going on and on saying about how much my husband must love me and yada yada yada. But I thought it was so funny because this person sent back this comment and it's the the, the name of the person on YouTube is yellow, orange, red. And it says, learn how to cook for yourself, Albert. Then you can thrill your wife by taking on part of the work at home. So I thought that was so hilarious. Like, all these guys are like all so excited they want this woman that can cook for them. But obviously this lady was like, learn how to cook yourself, man. So anyway, we're going to put this in the oven, 375, for uh, about 10, 8 to 10 minutes. We're just going to let it crisp up a little bit. And then over here, I have some tomatoes that I just kind of sliced in half. And I've got about five or six, depending on the size. And I'm going to put them in my blender. I've got a couple of cloves of garlic. Oh, and you may notice that the blender is different. Yeah, we had a little explosion with the blender this morning. And so this is my dear sweet neighbors. Wasn't that nice of them? Some onions, some garlic, and some tomato. And then I've been soaking some, some chilies arbol. I'm so concerned when I say that, that I'm saying that wrong. But um, I've got a few of those. I'm gonna do about three. I'm making this for the Mexicans, so of course it's gonna be a little spicier than if it was for my kids. And then I'm also gonna add some salt. And like I said, that was soaking in some boiling water. And then I'm just gonna turn my blender on. chili and I've done it in like rajas so like strips and I've got just a few swishes of canola here and I'm going to add them right in and we just want to get them softened up a bit and we want the onions to be clear and tender. If you take a peek in here you can see that our peppers have sweated down and we're ready to move to the next step. So we're going to take our sauce and I've got this little strainer here because I'm going to strain out any of the seeds. And we're going to pour it right in. All right, our tostadas are ready. So we're just going to take those out of the oven and I'm just going to sit them over here on the counter. All right, we're moving on to one of our final stages. That's the, the huevos. What we got here is we've got our frying pan. I've taken a few swishes of canola and put them in there. Now, I remember when I was a kid, my dad always used bacon grease. So if you are one to say bacon grease in the fridge, then that would obviously be yummy. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and crack our egg. And typically this is done with an egg where the yolk is not broken. But if you're making for someone that doesn't like their yolk runny, then just go ahead and break that yolk. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit of salt. There's also two ways you can do this. Some people like to flip their egg and cook it that way. I just like to take a little bit of the oil and baste it. That's the way my, my mom and dad always did it when I was growing up, so that's kind of the way I'm comfortable with doing it. But, you know, you do it the way you like. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that grease that I have, and I'm just gonna baste it right up onto the egg until the top of my egg is cooked. And I've got one of my eggs here, and I'm just going to set that on there. 
Then I'm going to take some of the rajas and put that right over the top, just like that. And then some of my sauce, I'm just going to smother that all over the top of this. Look how yummy that looks. If you're thinking about something to make this weekend, this would be a delicious brunch, breakfast, lunch kind of thing. If you want to get more great recipes, you can always go to MarytoMexican.com and click on the Cook With Me page. It's been great cooking with you today, and we'll see you back here again next time with another great Mexican recipe.